morning guys hi dear hope you guys are all doing really really well um we're finally back home for a bit um we've taken some we are taking some time off a bit um we're not stopping rehabilitation it's just being put on hold a bit um yeah i, I need some time just to work a bit through through some stuff um and i think it's an excellent time for us to take a break a bit nothing went wrong nothing is wrong it's just a good time just to, to take take a, a bit of a break um from the exercises and stuff like that um, emotionally and physically and mentally I need a bit of a break um, it's been really really tough um, and you know sometimes you you need a break um, just to get back to being a bit normal um, yeah that's basically it and then um, if you haven't watched my latest videos where I literally had like a a meltdown where I had to start crawling again like a baby um, you should really go and check that out I really didn't think I will be able to finish that um, part that I still had, had left to crawl um, to be honest it was absolutely horrible for me just to realize again how much I have lost um, and it's not just about me it's it's there are plenty of people out there in which i get that are going through a lot more or um, has a lot more issues or um, things they have to work through where they be any type of accident um I get that there's always someone that is going through worse stuff than you are. I really do get that and it's facts. I've seen it time and again at the Walking with Brandon Foundation. Every time you you walk in there or stroll in there, you do realize that there are really a lot of people that are worse off than you. And in a weird way, it makes you hopeful um, to see that if that person can do it, you can also do it. But at the end of the day, whether it's uh, going through bigger stuff than you are, what you are currently going through for instance what i am currently going through it's the worst thing that can ever happen to me so for me that is the worst thing i could ever possibly imagine happening to me yes it could have been worse i nearly died so anything worse than this is probably death. And I know it's, I sound a bit dark now. But it's such a big thing every time I do something new like this. I mean, it's the first time in three and a half years that I've crawled or managed to be able to crawl. And it was horrific. It really, really was horrific. 
the amount of times that I thought, you know, screw this, I'm done, I'm done, I'm done with this. It feels like you're reaching a breaking point and it feels like there's not enough glue in the world to fix you. And that is what I felt like at that, that occasion, that when I just felt like giving up. It felt like I cannot crawl this, say, five, further five meters. Um, my body was depleted, my muscles were burning with pain. Emotionally, I was just done with everything. At that particular time. And you see, I don't think people really do understand what it is like when you lose everything and you have to start from scratch, rebuilding your life piece by piece. It's tough, man. There are so many videos and stuff that I don't want to share because it's where I just lost everything. Where I go cuckoo because I can't do stuff that I knew for a fact I could have done before this ridiculous accident. It's heartbreaking. It's scary. You feel useless. It feels like no one gets you. Because they don't, they haven't been through something like you have been through. And I feel like people have to realize that every single person, every one of us go through stuff. It might not be, might not be as bad as mine. It might even be worse than mine. And for them, that is the worst thing they've ever been through. So I feel like when people come and tell you that, you know, remember there's always someone going worse, going through worse stuff than you are. I seriously feel like I want to get up and bang them with the head. Because they have no idea what they're talking about. Yes, it's a fact. There's always someone going through worse than you, than what you are going through. I know that. I've seen it. But for us, that person that is going through that, it's the worst thing they've ever been through. And it doesn't matter what anyone else says. That is physically, emotionally and mentally the worst thing they've ever been through. And it's not just something that will go away like this. I know I will be dealing with this for the rest of my life. And no, it's not because I'm negative or just be because I'm emotional. It's facts. It's not a, f a fact that tomorrow when I open my eyes, everything will be back to normal. No. I'm realistic. I know the facts. Yes. I will definitely still continue to get better. I might not ending up being the person that I was once before. And to be honest, I don't think I want to be that person that I once was. 
then if you look at the bright side, the humorous side, I would not have the amazing parking that I have now. I still continue to say that I did this for the parking. It's absolutely phenomenal. The parking that we get. Um, people will fight for that parking, I'm telling you, man. Um, but at the end of the day, it all comes down to that I did not give up. I wanted to give up so much. Thank goodness there was a Vishan and my sister, even though I hated every single second of crawling, I did manage to finish it and it was horrific, it was horrendous. I don't think I ever want to do it again and I know there will come a stage where I have to do it again. That's why I'm so glad that we are taking a bit of a break. Um, I'll still have homework and all of that that I have to do, physical exercises and so on. But I just think it's a good time just to have a little break from everything and, and give myself time to figure out what is next and just to calm down a bit because this is the toughest thing I've ever done in my life I've never been through something like this and I never wish anyone to go through the same thing that I've been through but it's like they said at the end of the day it doesn't matter how many times you fall it's how many times you get up trust me at that particular time I did not want to get up I did not want to continue, but I did. And I lost my marbles. I did. I was so angry at my sister. I was angry with Vishan. I was angry with everything and everyone. And the people who caused this. But I have to realize that this is what it is now. And this is my battle, and it's mine to win. No matter how many times I break down, I always get back up one more time. I'll never quit, even though I feel like quitting. It's just not in me to quit. So I wanted to share this with you guys, and. Everything is not always A-OK. -okay. <laughs> Sometimes you just have to smile away. And continue on with it. And it's not just grueling on me. But it's on my sister and her husband as well. I always tend to think about myself. Because I don't think they understand what it feels like. But then, um, I don't understand what they are going through. I don't feel what they feel and they don't feel what I feel. But yet they stick around. And it means a lot. It does. Even though I don't show it always. Even though I'm probably the most difficult ginger in the world. They do care. And I do love you guys. A lot. So that's what I wanted to share with you guys. The broken me as well. Um, I hope you guys have an absolutely fantastic day. And remember, hashtag donkey is his finest. And remember to get up one last time. Love. Heidi.